This is Joe with Joe'sAstrophoto.com, and tonight we're going to be capturing the Sunflower Galaxy. So since my first light with this telescope was the Whirlpool Galaxy M51, I decided that I was going to stay in the M51 group and do M63, the Sunflower Galaxy. It's about 30 million light years from Earth and it doesn't have a bar. It's not a barred spiral galaxy, just a spiral galaxy. It's also kind of um, hidden behind a dust cloud that uh, I see in a lot of pictures and I don't know how that's going to come out. So this is going to be a challenge for me. Um, I'd like to get the dust cloud, but at the same time, I really don't want to um, like hurt the image of the galaxy itself, if that makes any sense. I'm going to be using um, the 294 again, um, as usual, but this time I'm going to go with bin two mode. I want to see if I could pull out some more of that extra detail like the veins inside of the spiral galaxy or what looks like veins. I'm also going to be doing some HA subs because it seems like there's going to be a lot of uh, HA clusters in the galaxy um, from what I've seen on uh, Astrobin and, and Google images. So I want to see if I can't pull out that HA as well. So it'll be uh, uh, actually a luminance HA RGB image when I'm finished with it. And I'm hoping to at least get one night. Unfortunately, um, it's been cloudy for the last week since I took M51 and it's supposed to be rainy the entire next week. So again, like last week, I've got one night to pull it off. And right now it doesn't look good. The sky looks pretty cloudy and I'm starting to get afraid that I might not even get tonight in, but we'll find out, won't we? This is Joe of the future, and the other night I started making a video and Glenn photobombed me. We, we were supposed to um, meet about doing a collaboration on another project, and uh, I had completely forgotten that we had started the meeting, because it, it had been like th 30 minutes or so, and I went ahead and started recording for my video, and then he jumped in and kind of scared me. I mean, I, I was expecting him, but I kind of spaced out that he was actually going to, that, he, you know, that I was waiting on him while I was doing the video. So I thought I'd just go ahead and show you what transpired. It, it kind of changes the format that I had for this video, but it's also kind of cool to kind of see, you know, what happens behind the scenes sometimes. So here's some of my first images that I got coming in. I've got my guiding set at uh, 0.58 total RMS. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. Nice sub, man. Whoa! When is that you? Hey! Holy crap! You scared the heck out of me, man. Not I as much have... as it scared me getting up at five in the morning to come in and see you at your observatory. <laughs> I'm, I'm making a video, dude. I'm in the middle. Well, of I making... wonder what you were doing. I was gonna pop in and see if I could nick that uh, new lovely oh. scope of yours. You know. <laughs> Oh, I was just checking out my star shapes. They're a little wonky on this filter, on the blue filter. But when I go to the green filter, they're perfect. So I don't well, know. That's weird. I, I think it's a backspacing issue that I, I'm still getting the working the kinks out on this. Oh, you said you were going to do something to backspacing. So what are you doing now? Hang on a minute. That's the sunflower, isn't it? Yeah, that's the sunflower galaxy. You'll never guess what I've been imaging. What's that? What have you been imaging? The sunflower. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's nuts man yeah i did it the other night i was getting some uh well i was getting the usual lrgb with some ha um so uh yeah i've been uh, getting data together on it um wow that's, oh great i mean uh hey how do you feel about uh uh joining up on it to uh, stick our data together yeah that sounds great let's i wonder so you want to put our two together you know well, what? I, I've, I was using the uh, RC8, so um, but at 1,600 sort of millimeters, basically. 
Um, so what have you got your Celestron? Have you got it native or have you got a reducer on it? I've, I've got it reduced. It's at 1,422. That should be pretty close. We're only about 200 millimeters. Oh. Yeah, that, no, that'd be all right. I mean, I'm looking at your sub. It's not uh, It's not much different to mine, to be honest with you, with the field of view. So, yeah, there shouldn't be any reason why we couldn't do that, Joe. Are you shooting the same as me with the LRGB with HA? I am, and this is the oh, green brilliant. filter now, and see how perfectly round the stars are. So, um, well, isn't that strange that on the blue they weren't? Are uh, you it, sure the blue fil the blue filter is not um, is seated all right in your fi filter wheel, isn't it? Have you looked at that? No, I might have to check that and make sure that the green is is. is make sure the correctly. lens is tight as well, because they can come undone. The, yeah. the 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 locking ring on we'll the on the field. Check filters. that out. I don't know what happened with my guiding. All of a sudden, it jumped up to 0.74, but the image still looks pretty nice. A couple nights ago, when I made the video, um, it was a good night, and I got about six hours worth of uh, images done. And then the next night, there was a break in the clouds between about midnight and 3 a.m., and I went and got a. A couple more hours, able to get a couple more hours of uh, imaging time on the target. So I ended up with about eight hours of total imaging time. And uh, I'm going to show you that video or that image now. And then uh, we, I went ahead and um, got with Glenn. And together we kind of, uh, we kind of processed all of our data put together. We used APP for the pre-processing because it's a lot easier to, um, it's a lot more forgiving to put all of your data in there from different cameras and different focal lengths. It's kind of cool. And then um, we went ahead and jumped in PixInsight and then finished it out in Photoshop. And so that'll be the, the last picture that I show you. I hope you like this video. If so, smash that like button and we'll see you in the next video.